In this video, we're going to learn how to tell time in Spanish. When we're telling time in Spanish, there are two important phrases. Son las. You use son las when that's what time it is right now, like it's six o'clock, son las seis. Alas means at, at a certain time. For example, son las seis, it's six o'clock. A las seis, at six o'clock. Or, son las tres, it's three o'clock. A las tres, at three o'clock. Now, let's see if you can try it. I'm going to give you a few times here and you tell me what time it is or at what time you're going to do something. Stop the video after I give you the, the cue and see if you can do it and then start it again. Let's go. How do you say it's five o'clock? At five o'clock. Stop the video. Son las cinco. It's five o'clock right now. Or a las cinco. At five o'clock. That's when I'm going to do something. Let's try another one. How do you say it's eight o'clock? Son las ocho. It's eight o'clock. A las ocho. At eight o'clock, I'm going to the movies. What time is it now? How do you say it's 11 o'clock in Spanish? Son las once. It's 11 o'clock right now. Or I'm going to the movies a las once at 11 o'clock. Try this one. How do you say it's two o'clock? Son las dos. It's two o'clock right now. A las dos. At two o'clock. Don't be surprised if you see this occasionally. It's two o'clock. Son las catorce horas. At two o'clock. A las catorce horas. 14 means 1400 hours. Notice they place the word horas after the number. That means at noon it's 12 hours. Then we go to one o'clock in the afternoon. They just keep counting. That would make it 13, 1300 hours. At two o'clock in the afternoon, it would be 1400 hours. Son las 14 hours, horas, and onward. They are beginning to use AM and PM in Spanish, IMA and PMA, but a lot of people can traditionally use the 24-hour clock. Sometimes we call it military time in the United States. It is uh, when they write the time out, as you will see down on the digital clock on the lower left, most clocks will be in the 24-hour clock, and when they write the time down on a piece of paper, uh, like two in the afternoon, they will write 1400 instead of two, even though they may say, son las dos de la tarde, uh, they will write it down as 1400 hours. That's because train schedules and airplane schedules out of busy cities like Buenos Aires, uh, Ciudad de Mexico, uh, and other capital cities are around the clock. Uh, even train stations and bus stations run 24 hours a day. So they do use the 24-hour clock to avoid confusion. And now we're going to talk about a couple of exceptions. When it's one o'clock, notice the word son changes to s, where the little yellow arrow is. And notice instead of son las, it's es la una, not las una and it's a la una. That's because when you're saying es la una, you're literally saying there is one hour. That's what you really say. Uh, it sounds weird in English, but so does Spanish when they say it's one of the clock. Uh, they can't say that in Spanish. That's why one o'clock looks weird to them when we translate it literally into Spanish, just like it's one hour sounds weird in English. And a la una, there's only one hour. If there's more than one hour, we're like two, three, six, eight, nine, ten, like we've been practicing, you would say there are uh, 
two hours. Son las dos. There are two hours. Or at the two hours. A las dos. But if we're dealing with one o'clock, it's a la una or es la una. Now, if you're using one in the afternoon and you want to use military time, we would use the number 13. And that would be son las trece horas. You'd go back to son because we're dealing with 13. However, most often they will say es la una de la tarde in the afternoon. So es la goes with one o'clock. When we're dealing with 12 o'clock, again, we run into a problem. Is it 12 o'clock at night or is it 12 o'clock in the morning? What is 12 o'clock in the morning? Does that mean after 11 o'clock at night and then it goes to 12 o'clock in the morning, right before 1 o'clock in the morning? Or is 12 o'clock in the morning the same thing as after 11 o'clock in the morning? Oh, this is so confusing. That's why in English we will say it's noon or it's midnight. That takes all the doubt away. We do the same in Spanish. It's midnight. Es la medianoche. Mid means halfway through the night in English. Media is their word for half, and it's halfway through the noche. Media noche, it's midnight. Es la media noche. And notice uh, we use S with it just like we do with one o'clock, and la just like we do with one o'clock. But how about at noon? With noon, it's halfway through the day. And the word for day in Spanish is dia. And dia, although it ends in an A, is actually a masculine word. It's el dia, the day, el dia. And since it's a masculine word, we can't use la with it. We have to use the word el. So you notice the la has changed to el. And notice in the middle, instead of media, dia, since dia is a masculine word, we have to change that little a to an o. Medio dia. Es el medio dia. It's noon. When are you going to see them? Al medio dia. At noon. And that's right. We don't say a el medio dia. We say al medio dia. You notice over there on the left, I have the a plus the l. They don't say a el because it sounds like you're choking on something. So they make it into a contraction, uh, al, just like we do with the word in English, do not, uh, I do not go. Uh, we say, I don't go. Don't is a contraction of do and not. Same way with a and el, it goes into al. That's a contraction, al mediodia. And notice they don't use an, an apostrophe like we do in English when they do contractions. What are you going to the movies? Al medio dia, at noon. So that's how we tell time in Spanish. But you're saying, wait a minute, Mr. Gardner, not everything happens exactly on the hour. How do I say like 1.15 or 7.30 or 6.45? Take a look at our next video and it will show you how. Thanks for watching.